From Lyme to lupus, arthritis to Crohn's, autoimmune diseases are battles between our body and immune system. And these battles leave behind clues for lab professionals to follow to help get you diagnosed. I'm Andrew Chapman, and today we're hunting for antibodies to detect autoimmune disease here in the lab. I'm here with Ansel. Ansel, what do you do here in the lab? So I am one of the uh, charged medical technologists looking after the uh, immunology area. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now with so many different autoimmune diseases out there, I bet there's a lot of ways to test for them. What's the most common way? Yeah, so the most common one is the ANA screen. We call it uh, anti-nuclear antibody screen that uh, measures the presence or absence of uh, antibody. And how does it do that? Oh, okay, we have like uh, automated um, testing, we call it Bioplex, that um, measures the um, antibody presence on a serum or plasma, and um, a dual laser system measures the, uh, the presence or absence of antibody in the system. Wow. Now, what is an antibody? So antibody is the protein substance that produced by autoimmune system to um, combat infection. And how many uh, antibodies are there? Wow, so basically we have like millions of antibodies oh, okay. in the oh. system, yes. When you're testing for an autoimmune disease, what's the first step that happens in the lab? Okay, so samples are received by our specimen management team. They spin it with uh, our centrifuge and they deliver it to us and it's ready to be loaded on the instrument. The instrument will gonna mix the serum or plasma together with beads and then it's been incubated by the instrument and washed by the instrument and after certain readings, it's gonna give us the results that can be used by our clinicians in diagnosing autoimmune diseases. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one or learn more about what happens in the lab, please visit medlabprofessionals.ca.